Welcome guys to today's presentation where we'll continue looking at the heart, which is the cardiovascular system. So please, if you haven't yet watched the video where we, we talked about the cross section of the heart as well as um, the layers of the heart, please find time to watch that video. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe so that you get notification when I post my new videos. So, um, we are going to talk to continue talking about uh, the blood flow to the heart. So, in this video, we are going to talk about the blood flow to the heart. That how does blood enters the heart and go out uh, from the heart? So, we'll start first by drawing the heart. We'll first, start by drawing the heart. So, um, we are saying this is the left. This is the left side of the heart. We have a valve here. And you know that it's the left side of the heart. We also have the right side of the heart. So now we are done with the diagram of the heart and of course you know that uh, this is the pulmonary artery. Remember that the heart had got some layers, uh, the outermost layer which we said is the the pericardium. Pericardium. And the heart had also the uh, the middle layer, which is the myocardium. So now we're going to discuss how does blood flow. So remember we said that the veins are the ones that brings blood or carries blood towards the heart and the arteries actually car carries blood away from the heart so this is the inferior vena cava and this is the right atrium so if blood the deoxygenated blood okay so let us say we start from the left side of the heart you know that uh, mm, now let's start with the light okay so if blood has actually been used and this blood you're going to say it's in blue one eh? so the blood that has that that is coming from the superior aspect of the of the human body it will enter through the superior vena cava this is the superior vena cava okay so this blood is going to enter the blood that is coming from the upper aspect of the human body like the blood from the brain the jugular vein, they are going to enter through the superior vena cava. And the blood that is coming from the down aspect or the inferior aspect of the human body is going to enter through the inferior vena cava. So this blood is coming. So this blood is going to pass through this valve. Okay, This is the blood that is actually rich in carbon dioxide but with few amount of oxygen. 
okay the deoxygenated blood it does not simply mean that the blood does not contain oxygen okay it has oxygen but the concentration of oxygen it is very minimal or very little so the, this deoxygenated blood it is the blood that is actually rich in carbon dioxide and this right side of the heart it deals with the deoxygenated blood so this blood which is actually rich in carbon dioxide this is the ventricle this is the valve which we are calling as the tricuspid valve or the right antroventricular valve so this blood is going to enter into this ventricle and this ventricle is going to pump blood this blood which is deoxygenated to the lungs because you know that in the lungs that is where uh, a gaseous exchange takes place okay so this blood is going to pass through this valve which we are calling as the pulmonary valve and enter into this which were which we are calling as the pulmonary artery so this blood that is going to this side it's going to the right side of the lung this blood that is going to this side it's going to the left side of the lung okay so this blood is going to the lung so now let us draw the pulmonary artery and we include the lung as well so that we can see how gaseous exchange takes place okay so we are going to draw and reach to the lung so this is the pulmonary artery so you know that the pulmonary artery is actually going to uh, become small into what we call as the pulmonary arterial okay so it's just assume that it's coming then pulmonary arterial then we are saying that this is the lung okay It's too much maybe like this okay the pulmonary arterial then the pulmonary arterial you know that they are going to form into small vessels which we are calling as the capillary so we will draw the capillary here to these small ones which we are calling as the capillary so the capillary you know it's going to drain uh, into what we are calling into what we are calling as the the vein okay into a venue then from a venue to drain into the vein then this capillary it will drain into what you are calling as the pulmonary vein okay so we are saying that this is what we are calling as the pulmonary artery okay and this pulmonary artery it is carrying with it the deoxygenated blood in blue going to the lung okay for oxygenation okay so this is blood which is actually rich in carbon dioxide it's coming rich in carbon dioxide it's going to the lung for what for gaseous exchange okay so when it reaches the capillary you know that the capillary it is actually permeable okay in the capillary that is where gaseous exchange takes place because of the cell uh, of the endothelial cells that are actually found in the capillary so let's draw like uh, um, the alveoli so we are saying this is the air sac okay which we are calling as the alveoli so remember that this air sac the alveoli in this alveoli we have got uh, the alveoli it is actually rich with the oxygen and very little amount of carbon dioxide so this carbon dioxide that is actually in this uh, circulation in this capillary it's going to diffuse okay you know of course that uh, there is uh, diffusion particles moving from uh, 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 
higher concentration to lower concentration okay so this carbon dioxide is going to diffuse or enter this alveoli okay meaning that this co2 which simply means carbon dioxide it's going to enter into this alveoli okay and from this alveoli oxygen it will diffuse into the circulation which we are calling as o2 because you know that the alveoli it is rich in oxygen and less in carbon dioxide so this carbon dioxide once it gets into the alveoli it will be expelled out as we are breathing we are breathing out the carbon dioxide and inhaling the oxygen so this oxygen that is actually now enter the circulation it will be carried by the pulmonary vein from the lung okay it will come through the pulmonary vein okay back to the left side of the heart and this chamber it is what we are calling as the left atrium and this type of circulation from the heart back to the heart it is the circulation which we are calling as the pulmonary circulation okay we not going to mention it because we need some diagrams as well so this type of circulation from the heart back to the heart it is called the pulmonary circulation so this was the blood that is actually rich in carbon dioxide and this blood went to the lung for gaseous exchange carbon dioxide diffused into the alveoli and expelled out while oxygen was coming inside the blood vessels okay and in this as oxygen is coming inside the vessel the blood is becoming oxygenated okay because the blood now have uh, uh, the blood is going to have to be more concentrated with the carbon dioxide okay with oxygen sorry not carbon dioxide it will have more oxygen molecules okay so when this oxygen actually moves from this alveoli and enters into the circulation it will be carried by the pulmonary veins pulmonary veins and back to the heart and this is what we are calling as the pulmonary circulation okay now once blood enters into this left atrium the left atrium once this left atrium is full these valves which we are calling as the mitra valve they are going to open okay these mitra valve they will open and when these mitra valves open this blood is going to enter into this ventricle which we are calling as the left ventricle okay once blood is in this left ventricle these valves these valves the mitra valve they are going to close okay and this muscle of the heart it's going to contract and once this muscle of the heart contract it is going to ejaculate or pump blood out into the systemic circulation so this blood is going to come into this systemic circulation and it will pass through this valve which we are calling it because these valves they are going to open up once this contract once the ventricle contract these valves are going to open up and this uh, valve we are calling as the aortic valve they are going to open so blood is going to pass through the aorta now in the aorta we know that you have got the major vessels okay but let's just say that this is the vessel okay this is the vessel and you know that from the artery you are going to have arterioles okay and the arterioles they are the small vessels that you know of course from the artery you are going to have the mid, uh, medium artery uh, then into arterioles so let's just say that this is, this is the arterio and the arterio it's going to divide into capillaries okay you know that the arterio is going to divide into capillaries so let's just say these are the capillaries let's say these are the capillaries and the capillaries they're going to give away into vein into venues okay so we are saying that 
this is the capillary from the artery we have we have the arterial then from the arterial we are going to have the capillary then we are saying that the deoxygenated blood it carries nutrient as well as oxygen to the body tissues okay so this is blood that is actually rich in oxygen this blood is carrying nutrient with it and oxygen taken to the body tissues okay now let us assume that this is the tissue of the body okay this is the tissue of the body okay and in this we have the blood that is rich in oxygen okay so what is happening this is the tissue of the body so what is happening is that this blood it is actually going to give away oxygen nutrient uh, to the body tissues okay start diffusing inside giving nutrient and oxygen to the body tissues and once it is being used up all the product once the oxygen has actually been given to the tissues the nutrient have been given it is going to get back into the circulation through this which we are calling as the venue okay it will get back through the venue in form of deoxygenated blood this blood was oxygenated and it has been given away into this uh, tissue now at the end at the start of the venue we have increased uh, uh, osmotic pressure and osmotic pressure it is the one that is actually going to take the the used up uh, uh, waste that has actually been used by the body cells into the circulation so this is going to come inside because oxygen has been taken by the body cells so what is happening there is little oxygen and the high amount of carbon dioxide so this carbon dioxide is going to get into the circulation so now we are saying this is a vein okay it has drained into a vein and this is going to come and join this and this is also going to come and join like that so meaning this blood which is actually deoxygenated it will start coming through the vein okay where is it going back to the heart back to the right side of the heart so this is the systemic circulation okay it's going back to the heart and this the circle continues like that so when oxygenated blood uh, has been taken to the body tissues it's what we call as the systemic circulation okay so once the oxygen has actually come out and there is high amount of carbon dioxide this blood will actually be taken by this vein back to the heart again to the right side of the line and the, and it continues like that okay but you have to know that the heart it has to feed itself before it actually takes blood to the systemic circulation okay so we have uh, we have two arteries here and they also have the vein okay we have two arteries as well as we have two veins okay so these arteries they are what we call as the coronary arteries okay these arteries these two they are called as the coronary arteries these coronary arteries they supply blood to the heart muscle which is the myocardium okay they supply oxygenated blood okay to the heart muscle which is the myocardium okay of course you cannot cook if you haven't eaten if you don't have energy you cannot do the housework so you need to eat so that you can perform the house chores so these coronary arteries they supply oxygen and nutrient to this heart muscle which you are calling as the myocardium and these coronary arteries these coronary veins sorry these coronary veins they drain the deoxygenated blood into the right side of the heart so that the blood actually 
becomes deoxygenated. So what am I saying? When you look at this heart, what is actually happening is that uh, when you look at it, these are the ventricles. So these ventricles they contract at one at the same time. Okay, they contract. As they contract, blood becomes ejaculated. Okay. And these atrium atria they also contract at the same rate. If they contract, they see the atrial depolarization, meaning that blood is going to enter into this ventricle. And these they contract at the same time. Okay? And then blood goes just like that. Now when you look at this circulation, when you look at this circulation, uh we have uh what we are calling as uh, the the coronary circulation which is the circulation from the heart to the heart to the heart muscle and from the heart muscle to the right side of the heart okay so this is a quick review about the the circulation of blood within the heart as well as outside to the body tissues i hope this presentation is clear and thank you so much for taking your time to watch and please if you haven't yet subscribed to my youtube channel subscribe so that you can get notification whenever i post my new videos